Uh, I'm going to tell you all a funny story. It goes back now about 30 years, I guess. <laughs> Hard to believe, but it does. It goes back to the mid-1990s. Um, when I was in high school, briefly, I've got to remember back in the 1980s, in the mid-80s when I was in high school, we used to be able to buy old cars up for next to nothing. And so I had a lot of different old cars. Well, a lot of us guys, we'd buy an old car and we'd drive it into the ground or we'd sell it or trade it or whatever. You know, we'd get sick of it and we'd get something else or whatever. You know, cars were so cheap back then, we really didn't care. Looking back on it now, um, we didn't know what we had, really. But when I was in high school, I had a 1947 Dodge. For a little while, I had a 1947 Dodge sedan with the suicide doors, the doors that opened, the rear doors open backwards. We used to call them girl scoopers, because you could pull up along a curb, I guess, and open up the door and scoop the girls into the car was the idea. Not that we ever did that, but or tried to do that, but that, that that's just what we used to call those kinds of doors anyway. But anyway, I had that car, and I ended up, I sold it, I got something else, and I always kind of regretted selling that car. And years later, a 47 Dodge came up for sale, and um, I was advertised in the newspaper, and it wasn't too far from where I lived. And so I decided I'd go look at it. And I called the people up who had it, and I was talking to this woman, and she said, oh, you wouldn't want this car. She said, because I told her I was looking to put it on the road and drive it. She said, well, I think it'd be more for parts, really. You wouldn't want it. She said, all the windows are out of it and this and that. And I wasn't going to go and see it, but it bothered me anyway. I decided I wouldn't go and see it, but it bothered me, you know. I thought, I, I'm going to go see it. And so I did even though she discouraged me, you know, and made out like it was in really bad shape. It turns out, when I got there, it turned out it was my old car, the one I owned in high school. And in fact, uh, the windows weren't out of it. What it was is there was a couple of the windows in it that the regulators weren't functioning, so the windows wouldn't go up and down. When you tried to roll down, there was one window in the back door, especially, that wouldn't go up and down. It was just stuck up. But the window wasn't out of it. It was just the regulator was no good. And there were other problems like that. But anyway, I bought the car from them. And as I told you in previous videos, I was friends with a fellow that had a wrecking yard near to my hometown. And at this wrecking yard, they had an old shop. It was like an old barn that had been turned into a garage. It's burnt down since. It's gone now, but... It was a real ramshackle old place anyway, just a real, you'd have to have seen it to know, it, it was pretty rough. And they used to work on cars in there, and they did welding in there and everything. And one of the wrecking yard owner's brothers had a body shop in there, and sometimes it was so dirty in there though that he'd have to repaint a car because dirt would fall down from the rafters onto the car and stuff where the paint was dry, and so then he'd end up having to sand the thing and repaint it. And it was just a really rough old place. It was like an old barn that was built in the 1800s that they had turned into a, a shop. Anyway, um, rough place. But uh, I used to sometimes work on my car in there. They used to let me drive it in there and work on it. And um, whenever I needed to. Anyway, one of the brothers had a body shop, another one of the brothers did mechanical work in there, and another one of the brothers, a fellow by the name of Alvin, the this, this story's about Alvin, um, he uh, did welding. All the farmers around there used to bring them his their broken equipment, and he'd weld it back together for them. Very talented man, a very, very smart man, you know. Anyway, Alvin was very quick-witted, and it's funny, actually, because Alvin was a great friend of my dad's. In fact, Alvin and my dad, back in the early 1960s, they, they actually rented a house together. They shared a house, Alvin with his wife, who, who, who had, had passed away by the time I was around there, doing the work on the car, and uh, my dad and, and, and one of his girlfriend that he had had back in the early 60s, they all shared a house. And so Alvin and my dad were lifelong friends anyway. 
But Alvin was very quick-witted. And there was one day, I was in the garage, I was fixing in the shop there, I was working on my car, and I should tell you, um, in one corner of that um, shop, there was a little room with a door on it and stuff, makeshift kind of a thing, and in that room, that was the washroom. And basically, they had a toilet in there and a sink, and I think the water came from the creek. There was a creek in behind the, the um, in behind the uh, the shop or whatever that ran through there. And I think the water for the washroom came from the creek, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, the toilet in there was a funny kind of a thing, and every so often you'd hear it. It'd start going bloop, 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 and you'd hear that from behind the door. <laughs> if you were in the shop, you'd hear that bloop, 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 bloop from the toilet. Well, one day, this man come around to talk to Alvin, somebody that had some business with him, somebody that wasn't familiar with the place, that hadn't been there before. And um, they're standing there talking, and they're close to the, the door where the washroom was. And from behind the door, of course, the toilet starts going bloop, 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 like that. Well, the guy, he kind of turned his head and he looks towards the door and he says, what on earth? What's that? What's that noise coming from behind that door? And without missing a beat, Alvin says, fish tank. You know, <laughs> as if they'd have a fish tank in there, you know, of all places. But I remember that, though, I started laughing. <laughs> you know, I still laugh when I think about that. Ah, anyway, Alvin, he passed away last year. But, yeah, he, I, I, I'll never forget that, though. He was an awful kind-hearted man, and he was just, he was just a really good guy anyway, very talented, very smart. And I'll never forget when he said that to that guy, and, of course, everybody just roared laughing, <laughs> you know. It was more than, more than me in there, and we all just started roaring laughing, you know. Anyway, that's